Hi guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a long, long overdue video. And it was actually a requested video recently on my channel. It was in the comments section. Somebody had a great idea and I couldn't believe that I haven't done it until now. And that is a Dooney and Burke Florentine satchel comparison video between a small size satchel and a mini size satchel. Now, you guys know that there's lots of different size Dooney Florentine satchels. There's a medium, which is actually the largest size. Then there's small, mini. Then there's, I think, nano and micro now, which I have not seen in person yet, but look really cute. And I'm a little bit curious about them. Um, I've always preferred the mini size. For me, I don't carry a whole lot. So it's just the most practical size in terms of the amount that I carry on a regular basis, but there's definitely pros and cons to that size. I also have one small size satchel. It's a great size if you want to carry a little bit more, but once again, there are pros and cons that come along with that. So what I wanna do is kind of show you a side-by-side -side comparison of a mini and a small satchel. I'm gonna go over what fits and I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons of each size. Um, so if you're stuck between trying to decide between the two different sizes, hopefully this video is gonna help you out. So the first thing I wanna do is show you a side-by-side -side comparison. This is a small size aqua satchel. This is a mini size Kelly green satchel. These are both extremely rare colors and really hard to find on the resale market. They do not make them anymore. Just FYI, if you're curious about these colors. So small, mini. So you can see here, there's about a two inch size difference. The small size satchel runs about 13 inches across the bottom and the mini size satchel is only 11 inches. Um, I believe if you go up to the medium size, which is a little bigger than this, it goes 15 inches across. And then if you go down in size from this, it goes down to like nine and then eight or something like that. Let me show you a side by side, a side shot comparison here. Once again, the small size you can see is just a little bit taller, maybe about one to two inches taller and slightly wider. And then a bottom shot here. It's it's, it's a pretty sizable difference between these two sizes, which is kind of surprising. Um, so it's really up to you in terms of how much you carry and also how much weight you wanna deal with. Because the one thing I will mention about all Florentine satchels is they're extremely heavy. Very, very heavy bags. And it's because they're really high quality leather. So that's a great thing about them. But if you have back and shoulder issues, I would not get one of these. Um, it is definitely a heavy carry, especially once you fill it with your stuff. So let's go over the mini uh, Florentine satchel first. Um, as I mentioned, this is my personal favorite size. I feel like it, because of the size and shape of it, it carries a decent amount, but it's not as heavy as the small size satchel. And I feel like it looks better crossbody than the small size satchel because of its size. The one con that I will say people complain about very frequently with the size is the size of the opening. Now, because of how Florentine satchels are constructed with the zipper, not the zipper tape, not going beyond the opening, it limits the size of the opening. And that's people's number one complaint about this style in any size is the bag's a great size, but the opening is so small you can't see in or you can't put a full size wallet easily. So that's definitely something to be aware of if that's going to bug you. I think the opening here is only about eight inches, which is really not that big. Um, so for example, if you want to carry a full size wallet, I mean, clearly that will fit just fine in here. But when it comes to negotiating the opening, sometimes it can be a little tricky. And when you're in a hurry on the go, it definitely, it can be annoying. I pulled out an even larger wallet here because I know some people carry very large size wallets. So just look at this, the opening compared to this. I mean, it's almost the exact same size. So you have to kind of put it in at an angle and stuff it in there, which once again, could be annoying for some people. I'm gonna keep this giant size wallet in here though, just so I can show you how much will fit in here. I've also pulled out a umbrella. So I wanna show you like a compact size umbrella. Will fit just fine. Once again though, you're gonna to have to negotiate the opening for anything that's long a longer item. I also pulled out like a big size glasses case, okay? So I don't normally carry this, but with this style I can because it is so much more spacious than a lot of my other smaller bags. And then let's see, I pulled out like a medium size pouch here. 
another Janine Burke pouch that fits just fine on top. Then I have my smaller pouch that I always carry. So you can see I have fit a lot in this bag. And let me tell you, it is heavy. It's extremely heavy. So once again, just something to be aware of. One more thing I wanna show you here is a full size water bottle. Does fit laying down, but once again, you gotta kinda of put it in at an angle. It's not gonna fit just laying down. You have to angle it and get it in there. And that makes it almost unbearably heavy, honestly. So let me show you, take all this stuff out and I will show you it in the small size satchel. You're gonna get a little bit more space there, but you're also gonna get more weight. And so that would be the con I would say about when you go up to the small and medium size Florentine satchels, they get very, very, very heavy. Um, I'll show you the straps here in a minute. The strap does help because it's thicker. But once again, I mean, this is a much better opening than the mini size satchel, but it is still pretty small considering the size of the bag. So let me put the same type of stuff in here and I'll show you how it goes in. Here's that really large size wallet. This fits better. I can put that in and out more easily and I don't have to angle it. So a lot of people will go up to this small size, even though they don't carry much, just because they can see in it better and they can fit more things easily. I'm gonna put my umbrella back in and the water bottle, because I think they will both fit across the bottom, which they do without any issue. I'm gonna put in a larger size pouch this time, very large long shot pouch, my full size glasses case. I'm gonna put that other medium sized Dunian Burke pouch, and I'm gonna put my small pouch, and honestly, I got room to spare. This is a big bag, but it is almost so heavy at this point, I'm having trouble holding it up with one hand. It's very, very heavy with all this in it, plus just the weight of the leather and all this hardware. So something to keep in mind. Let me show you the difference in the straps here. They each come with a crossbody strap, but you can see just from the very get go, there's a difference here in terms of the strap width and length. So the mini comes with a much thinner strap and I understand why they do it because this scale of strap looks better with this size bag. But from a practicality standpoint, this cuts your shoulder because this is a heavy style bag. Once you fill it full of stuff and then you put the skinny strap on it, it can have a tendency to cut your shoulder again a little bit and it's not that comfortable. What I like to do is double my shoulder strap and I have a video about how to do that. I feel like it carries the weight better when you double it and you have it hanging up higher underneath your arm rather than hanging down crossbody and you have all that weight kind of swinging around. So I'm gonna link below the video to how to double this strap to help carry the weight. The strap for the small size satchel is much better for carrying the weight of the bag. You can see it matches the scale of the bag well. It's also a little bit longer, which is awesome. Um, once again, I prefer to double this. I feel like it, it carries better higher up under my armpit. So watch the video if you're interested in how to do that. Um, and then let me show you them side by side here. So you can see there the difference in the width. And then let me show you the length difference. I don't even know if I have these set at the same setting. I actually don't think I do, but the um, small strap is just a little bit longer. So you can have it hang at a nicer crossbody height if you are a taller person. So what I wanna do now is um, get up and show you guys what these look like on the body so you can kind of get an idea of the scale. All right, I wanna show you the mini size Florentine satchel first. First, I'll show you the arm carry. This is really the classic way to carry these bags. They have the handles. The handles are beautifully whip stitched. It just looks so, these all sizes of this bag look so great carried on the arm. Fortunately, I hate carrying bags on my arm because I don't like to have a hand that I don't feel like I can use. So when I carry these bags, I either carry them crossbody or I, short, I double the strap and carry it up underneath my arm. So here's what this looks like as a crossbody, and you can see you have this handle to deal with here. So there's two different ways you can deal with it. You can bend it down so that it's against your body. And honestly, this leather is so malleable, it kind of just sinks into the bag and it doesn't really bother you in terms of 
um, hitting your hip. But this does hang up a little high, I think, for crossbody. It's passable, especially if you keep this flap down rather than standing straight up. The other thing you can do with the handle is actually stand it up so it, it hits on the top of your hip rather than hitting on the bottom of your hip. But definitely this size does better crossbody just because it is a little smaller and slightly lighter weight. Now let me show you the small size satchel carried on the arm. So, so pretty. I mean, this is just such a beautiful size for arm carry. Um, I feel like you can hold the weight a little better up on your arm than you can when it's hanging down on the strap. So if you are an arm carry person, I mean, these bags are just made for that. Now let me show you with the strap. And I didn't, I forgot to mention, I have these both set on the absolute longest setting. So this is the most length that you're gonna get. You can see it hangs down much lower on the hip. It's not up here. I have another like two inches of clearance here, which is nice, especially for somebody that's tall like me. If you're more petite, it probably wouldn't be an issue. And then let me show you here with this, this handle folded down into the bag. That's really how I carry it when I carry it crossbody is like this. Um, and then if you want to see it carried with the strap doubled, like I said, definitely go take a look at my a video below. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope it helped you decide which one would work for you in your life. I, like I said, I'm a mini girl. I love mini Florentine satchels. I think they're just so cute and they hold enough for me. But if you're somebody that needs to carry more, I think the best of all the worlds is the small size Florentine satchel. It's not as big and heavy as the medium, but it still holds a ton. And if you're questioning what size you should start with and you're just not sure, definitely get the small and start there. As always, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. I hope you'll hit that button and join me for my future videos here on my channel. I talk about all different handbag brands, not just Dooney and Burke. So if you love handbags and accessories, I know you'll love my content here on my channel. I hope I get some of um, my Dooney people in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorite size is because I know everyone has a different favorite size. And if you think I would like the micro or the nano and you have it, let me know because I am really toying with the idea of picking one up just because I'm so curious about what it holds and how bad the opening would be. Um, so if you have one, comment below and let me know what you think of it. All right, guys, I'll see you on my next one. Bye.